Welcome back to the Top Notch Documentaries YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be going over one of the most ingenious scams that I've ever come across, the Amazon Dirt Scam. Hope you enjoy. For this story, we're headed over to Palma de Mallorca, Spain. The scammer that I'm covering in this video is James Gilbert Quarteng, aged 22 at the time of his arrest in 2019. James was accused of scamming Amazon out of roughly 300,000 euros. When converted to dollars, the amount is $370,000. As of 2019, this was the second largest scam to have ever been perpetrated against Amazon. You might be wondering how someone could scam one of the biggest e-commerce sites in history. Surely the people running one of the largest companies in the world are on the ball when it comes to preventing scams. Well, they weren't on the ball when it came to preventing this scam. A bit of background on Amazon's sale policy is needed for this story. Somewhere along the line, James and an unnamed associate, and the reason for this is uncertain, I'm wondering if this person is potentially underage or cooperated with the authorities. They must have noticed a flaw when it came to this policy. Amazon offers a 30-day refund policy when a customer makes a claim and returns a parcel. Amazon only weighs the parcels upon receiving them. They don't immediately open the parcel, and so whatever its contents are, they remain undisturbed for some time. James and his associate figured this out and exploited the flaw in the sale policy. Their go-to method for scamming Amazon involved ordering items and upon receiving the parcel, they would weigh it. Now that they had the exact weight, they would open the parcel and keep the items. James then filled the parcel with dirt and shipped it back off to Amazon. For years, they were none the wiser to the lucrative scam. And a random parcel search would be the reason for the scam being exposed, but I'll get onto that shortly. The dirt scam was going great for James and his associate. It sounds like they began doing the scam together, but after they might have parted ways or potentially stuck together throughout. James was profiting from the scam and ended up creating his own company. He named it Quartec. In addition to this, he resold most of the items that Amazon had sent him. James usually purchased items like iPhones. Replacing the parcel with dirt, his company was reported to sell technology without its packaging. So yeah, he was just reselling what he brought. Sometime in the summer of 2019, the scam came undone by accident. An Amazon worker dealing with the return parcels opened one and was shocked to find that it contained dirt. The trail toward identifying who had returned it didn't take too long. After all, purchase history and returned items are documented. The labels on the return parcels contain James's address and card payments in his own name were used to purchase and return the goods. He was caught not long after. He had been upholding the scam for years, and so he must have been confident with it working his own way. As of the time of this video, James is facing a six-year prison term for the charges of fraud and being part of a criminal organisation. He was released on a $3,300 bail, and since this took place in Spain and not the United States, he might get less time. From what I could find, the people who have scammed Amazon in the United States all faced up to 20 years in federal prison. Plus, the terms of their sentencing included them having to pay restitution and a huge fine in the hundreds of thousands. There have been no new updates on this case, and so it's unclear what James and his associates' fate will be. Amazon has now altered their sale policy, and they're much wiser to scams like this now. Surprisingly, other scams against Amazon also went on undetected for many years. The reason likely being that Amazon is raking in so much money that the amount taken in these scams is mere pocket change for a man like Jeff Bezos, who basically runs the world by this point anyway. He probably bathes in $100 bills, so I wouldn't expect him to be concerned about the scam. It doesn't seem like James will beat the case given the amount of incriminating evidence against him. He's bound to end up doing some prison time, and despite his ingenuity, this scam was great until like every other scam, it all came crashing down. This has been the video on the Amazon Dirt Scam. As always, thank you for watching.